G'day! In today's video, I've got a DualSense 5 model ZCT1W, or sorry, a DualSense aka PS5 controller. And this one here has a damage down button. So I don't know what can be done with that, but I want to open it up and take a look. Apparently, one of Victor's kids has grabbed the controller and thrown it. And from there, it has damaged the down direction on the D-pad. Everyone else seems to be okay with it. So, I want to open it up, take a quick look. Hopefully it's just something out of alignment. But I'm not actually too sure on the D-pads. I'm used to taking these apart to do Joy-Con replacements. Not so much for doing directional button issues. Oh, this wants to come out here. There we go. go, flip this around, take out one screw, and two, and three. At first I didn't like how the DualSense controllers came apart, but I don't actually mind them. Uh, they've grown on me over time. Get that out of the way. Here we go. There we go. Uh, bugger, there's going to be a bit more than I thought. But we'll get there in the end. Connect the battery. So this whole section here probably needs to come out now. Which I was not wanting to do, but oh well. I already ate my words about how I like these coming apart. <laughs> and then over there. So here. Hmm, that was odd. How quickly that one came out, and I don't think I actually touched it. So I wonder if that was a somehow a poor connection just then. Might even just line it back up, reconnect it, and see what happens. Slide that back into here. Hold that me. And quiet in. Now I'm going to use gamepadtester.com to well, hardwaretester.com slash gamepad to check it out once more. Funnily enough, I have it now going once more. D-pad is working down. I'd say this cable here, in the, whatever the impact happened, had loosened it just enough that it wasn't functioning. So, funnily enough, I'm rather happy with that now. A relatively quick fix. I was hoping it would be a quick fix, being that the other directions up, left, and right were perfectly fine, but it was just the D pad that was not. So now I should just be able to get this back together once more. And I'm going to give Victor a call. Um, good customer of mine. I'm not going to bother charging him. Might, like, something like that, if I was, was to charge, I'd probably charge maybe the minimum of $40. They'd probably be a bit lenient and just charge $20 for something like that. 
but I've had a lot of business with Victor. I've been very happy with dealing with him as a customer. So I don't mind him having a freebie every now and then. Especially when it's going to be something that's going to take me less than five minutes to do. It's going to take me longer to put this back together than actually fixing it. Why aren't we lining up? There we go. And I have left one thing disconnected. I don't know where it is, but I know I've left it disconnected. What did I leave disconnected? Bingo, this fella. Always likes to disappear. Put that out of the way. Undo this screw. Here. Feed it through and up. Always forget about that one. Come on, feed back in. There we go. Back through, screw back in. So luckily for this D-pad repair, not much is really needed. Not much at all. I like it when some jobs are like that, where they're just simple and straightforward, and you can tell what they are, or heavily predict what they are due to previous knowledge. Okay, connected, connected. Now this one once more. Everyone's lining up as it should, yes. Got a bit of chewed thumbsticks going on here. Don't know if it's because I just don't game enough, but do you know, definitely notice that on younger kids' controllers. Younger kids' controllers definitely seem to get the, uh, the wear marks of the thumbsticks. I'm not sure if that's from them throwing it around the room or if it's just them chewing on it when they're bored at a loading screen which you shouldn't be seeing too many of those on a PS5. Or just general wear on the plastic and I'm just not getting simply enough hours on my controllers to destroy them. Don't know. But anyway, I'm happy with that repair. And now I'm going to go and work on a Nintendo Switch to do a Type-C port replacement. That one is definitely going to take a lot longer than this one. That's for sure. So I'll be putting that off until I really have to do it, which is getting very close to soon. And then it can get out the door. Granted, it's an original switch, not an OLED, so slightly less screws involved in that one. But still, just annoying to get down to the board. The repair itself's all right. Anyway, that's one D-pad repaired on a DualSense controller. Bye.